So, how much is too much swelling on the DJI Phantom batteries? This one is three years old. There's quite a bit of swelling. It's hard to get out of the out of the bird, so that kind of spelled the death right there. You can't see through the vents vents any of the uh, holes in the vents there. I see light through them, so I assuming all four cells are swollen there. I'm just a hobby pilot. So I'm no expert on these batteries. And that's why I asked the question, how much swelling is too much swelling? I have brand new batteries that, of course, when you take them out of the bird, when you end your flight, they're a little swollen and they're also hot. So I understand that. But this one hasn't changed. It's uh, been kind of swelled up. Before I charged it and still after I charged it. It does still take a charge. Um, the bitter pill with this is these are so expensive. Just to go throw in a recycle bin. So again, I ask how much swelling is too much? The general consensus. Consensus. Con <laughs> The general consensus is that any swelling is unacceptable. Well, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, every battery I've ever pulled out of my bird at the end of a flight has some swelling. Albeit it does go down after a while when it cools down. I don't, I really don't know the answer to this question. I guess this one is just going to be toast, but I have two more batteries that are just as old as this one. But I got them back in uh, July of uh, 1970. 1970. Wow, 2017. And uh, one of them is starting to swell, not quite as bad as this, and the other one is fine. So. This one has been charged the least amount of times, of course. Um, I always store my batteries. If it's going to be longer than a week, I store them at about 50-60%. If I'm going to be recharging them within four or five days, I will let them set at 20-25%. Um, Again, I don't have the answer to this question, and if any of you do have the answer, other than the general, if there's any swelling, don't trust it, please uh, let me down, let me know down in the comments if you would. I'm sure there'd be a lot of other people that have these batteries. I searched and searched on the internet, and I found very few YouTube videos or articles a uh, couple forums that they talked about it and again the general consensus is any swelling is too much I don't know that's I mean that's a real conservative answer I I don't know and I would like to know because I like I said I have three batteries that are three years old that are starting to swell like this one and if I don't have to toss them any time soon, that'd be fine. I'll put this in the drone, and I'll show you in the app uh, what the uh, what what the cells read out. Okay, I've got the uh, battery in my bird now, and as you can see on the app here, uh, the uh, deviation for this. I have found out is a point zero four. Uh, they say you should use caution if you have more than that. As you can see here, my deviation of volts is uh, what point zero one. Again, this is a swollen battery from my uh, one of my three swollen batteries. Again, uh, it's turned on. The motors are running. 
again there's no real load to it it's just sitting in idling so maybe that's why I'm not getting a big deviation I'm thinking about tomorrow I might take it out keep it uh, real close but try and put a load on it and see what it's going to do with that I just have a I just have a problem with it being swollen and uh, the last thing I want to do is my bird catch on fire or for it to drop to zero power and drop like a brick but as you can see it's staying within tolerance and that's why I uh, really need to know how swollen does it really have to be it still be safe and usable and you can see um, I know when I am flying and I think it's this battery one of them comes up with a uh, deviation of voltage, but it's not huge. It's maybe point, I think it's point zero five. Well, and I think that's with intolerance, but it does flash yellow sometimes in the uh, in the graph. So anyway, if you have an answer to how much swelling is acceptable, or if any swelling is acceptable, again, just put them down in the comments and. Uh, I'd be much appreciated. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Don't be too rough on me. I don't do a lot of these uh, in-person type uh, videos. So, again, thanks a lot.